Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Elizabeth and in today's video I am bringing you some Friday morning motivation to get things done. I'm going to do a quick tidy up and clean with me of the first floor so that the house is not in such disarray moving into the long weekend for the 4th of July. So if you're in need of some motivation, go ahead and clean with me. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know where you're watching from and what you're working on for this weekend. So as always, I like to start off in my son's room and just get things tidied up there. I'll be honest with you, I did a lot of cleaning on Monday and Tuesday, um, just wanting to get things done and keep on top of things for the week. So my son's room really isn't that dirty because I cleaned it on Monday, but there were some clothes I needed to put away. I wanted to just kind of make his bed area. He likes to see things neat and clean just so when he goes in, he can throw books and everything everywhere, but it's all good. I don't like seeing a mess and honestly, I'm starting to pick up that he doesn't either. <laughs> So one of the next places I move on to is the kitchen. There's a lot going on just in terms of dishes and things like that, but it's not overly dirty by any means. I had literally cleaned the sink and the stove probably the day before, so I don't focus on that in the video. My goal for today was really to go through each space, tidy it up, clean what I need to. So in here I did countertops and some other things and really just have it at a point where I'm happy and I'm not going to be rushing around focusing and worrying how dirty is this what do I need to clean up here for the weekend because if we do have guests that come over um, you know I want the space to be warm inviting and at least somewhat neat it doesn't need to be perfect and honestly for the summer I'm okay with that because most of my time is spent outside with my family I don't know if anybody else is like that but I personally don't like being inside worrying about every little thing in the summer So let me know how you guys are doing down below. Really wondering how everybody's been enjoying the summer. Is it really hot in your area? On this particular day when I was filming, it was somewhere in the 80s. So my perfect temperature, my perfect weather, although my husband would disagree. Um, so let me know what you guys are seeing out there. Is it really rainy? Is it hot? I'm always interested to see where my viewers, um, for one, where you guys are viewing from, and two, what the climate or the weather is. I know I have a few friends who have tropical weather all the time. And that is a blessing. I'm very jealous, not gonna lie. Um, but I'm very much enjoying the weather. It's been really, really good here. So it's allowed me to get a lot done outside as well. And unfortunately for me though, as much as I like opening the windows in the summer because the pollen's not as bad, it's just letting in a lot of heat. So it's not like I can really open it up. And on top of that, where you're seeing my kitchen window right now, if I'm being honest with you, this construction on the main road, um, which you can kind of see from the back window, kind of not, but there's constant loud noises, constant trucks going by. So that that's not the type of background music I want when, you know, I'm chilling in the house. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up with the countertops here. And I'm using the Wayman cleaner. It does a really good job on quartz and stone. Um, just in case anybody's wondering, if you guys have quartz or different types of stone, granite even, it'll work really well on that. I'm pretty pleased with that. But again, I really just focused on those areas to get things, you know, as shiny and as clean as possible. There's a lot of crumbs that ended up on the floor, but I'm gonna take care of that in a little bit by just vacuuming. Let me know what you guys focus on when you tidy up your home. Is it one particular thing? Do you just focus on maybe dusting? Are you somebody who goes through and just vacuums everything? Let me know. So as you guys can see here, I actually got some new clothes. I did some shopping on Monday. Um, because I actually had time to go do shopping for myself. I was really happy. It took me about an hour to get the full downstairs completely clean. So we're talking dusting, some windows, you know, the usual cleaning that I typically do, even though I didn't film it, but all of that got done on Monday. I vacuumed and washed the floors and I actually had a ton of free time. I got like two new pairs of sneakers. I got some clothes from Old Navy from a gift card. Um, it was really nice because I've not taken time to myself in a while. So hopefully this summer, Given that uh, Logan will be at daycare a few days out of the week and then I'll have some time to myself, really I'm using it to do some food shopping, get bills done, get things done around the house, but I'm hoping to at least have a day to myself, whether I'm in the garden doing something that I love at the beach, at the park, and then this way I have time to plan for Thursday and Friday as well as the weekend so we can come up with some family-centered activities and so that he can have some fun as well. It doesn't make sense. 
is the last thing that I'm doing here is really just giving the floor a quick vacuum. Again, I had a lot of crumbs on the floor. Um, even though I just vacuumed it a few days ago, I mean, we're in and out from the outside, from that back door, from the front door. We have flip-flops on, sneakers. So things get trapped, things get on the floor in addition to crumbs from all three of us. So I wanna make sure that at least I'm focusing on the floors and keeping on top of that. If anything, if I had people coming over on the weekend, this is probably the one thing I would go ahead and do would just be to vacuum because I honestly hate when you walk in, the floors are really visibly dirty or there's caked on food on the floor or God knows what else. That's my big pet peeve. So I like to make sure that's on, you know, that's on point if somebody's gonna come over. But we're keeping it pretty low key. We're going to my in-laws um, down at the Cape over the weekend we're not staying the entire weekend but we're gonna go celebrate with them and then hopefully just keeping it low key on the 4th of july here at home i'd love to be able to bring my son to go see the fireworks but i still think he's a little bit on the young side in addition to everything that's gone on with his ears his hearing tubes all that good stuff i didn't want to chance it but let me know down below what age if you do have kids did you bring them to go see fireworks i've seen some families where they put the noise canceling headphones so it's not as loud for them but I personally love the 4th of July. I love the fireworks, how patriotic everything is. So I'm hoping that my son's able to enjoy that within the next year. But I just don't think it's in the cards for us this year. And honestly, if you wait long enough, either the front yard or backyard, if you park your butt there at like 8 p.m., people are gonna be setting off fireworks literally all night in our area. So, I mean, he'll get a show regardless. So in the living room, it's really not that bad here. Um, it's really just picking up a few items, moving the water bottles. We had had McDonald's yesterday, so I wanted to clear up that cup, which was mine. That's something that I feel like in our house, there's cups everywhere. I don't know about anybody else. Do you guys leave cups laying around, whether it's like you get one cup of water and then for whatever reason, we don't reuse that cup of water. We go and get another glass full of water or um, for my son, milk, etc. Like, I don't know. Are we the only ones who do that? Um, I don't know. It's just weird. I feel like it's the house of cups sometimes. Every room you go to, it has a cup. Um, so we're trying to be better about that, at least for this summer. If somebody's getting a glass of water, you're reusing that cup, you're reusing that glass. There's no arguments there. <laughs> So I am pretty excited. I did get a new camera to film on, so I'm still trying to learn it, so I apologize if the editing is a little bit off. While I'm trying to edit it, um, it just comes in really choppy, and I don't know if it's because I was filming in 4K. I'm gonna be playing around with this camera for the next few weeks just to find the appropriate settings, but already just the film quality is so much better, so different. I mean, nothing wrong with filming on a phone. I mean, I'll probably do one of my next videos on my phone just while I figure out the settings on my camera. But in case you guys notice where something might seem a little bit off, again, I do apologize, but it's because I have a new camera and I'm having some struggles with the video editor with everything coming in choppy. So I'm hoping everything lines up when I play it back. Um, but I'm just asking for a little bit of grace while I, I get to learn all of that. <laughs> So for my son's play area, there's not much to do here. It actually wasn't too dirty in terms of crumbs or anything like that. So the one thing I really wanted to be on top of are his little um, foam, um, foam mats, I guess you can call them. They're just little wedges that he can climb all over. It simulates the little gym that he went to before that has the trampolines and all that good stuff. So I just disinfected that really quickly with the Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes. and. It just helps take some of the sticky stuff off, off of there because oftentimes after dinner, that's the first thing he goes and runs to and his hands may not necessarily always be clean. So I wanted to just kind of clean that up. Everything else was in good shape, so I just gave it a quick vacuum. And after that, we were pretty much golden.
So for our hallway, it's really, again, not that bad, but I just wanted to quickly dust over everything, the table, the picture frames, the door, because again, this is the main point when somebody walks in. I'm very guilty of when we have to bring something upstairs, I just leave it on the stairs to bring up, and my husband and I a lot of times just walk by it. We're trying to be better about that, so it doesn't show it in today's video, but it is nice and clear today after I'm done, yay. Um, but I'm trying to keep on top of that. Does anybody else do that when you have something to bring up and you know, hey, I'll get to it later, I'll go upstairs later, you just leave it on the stairs. And does it stay there? Does it ever make it to its home? <laughs> Let me know down below. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I have a hummingbird feeder that I need to clean out. So it's in the sink for right now. Um, needs to be cleaned out. So this, I change every couple of days. If it rains, I change it the very next day, um, just in terms of keeping it clean and not having mold grow on there because hummingbirds are so small, so delicate. Fierce creatures, but very delicate. So I like to make sure that I'm doing what I have to do for them. So the hummingbird mixture that I typically make, it is one cup sugar to two cups water. Um, if you're making in bulk, you could always double it, but I would advise against strictly because, uh, ooh, see, now I made too much, ha ha. I could edit this out as a blooper or whatever, but I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> but that being said, realistically speaking, um, so it's the one cup sugar and then it's gonna be two cups water. I'm gonna boil this down, mixing it. You, go, you wanna mix it the entire time and then you let it cool. And then once the feeder is cleaned, then I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it into the feeder. Again, once the liquid is cooled. But ideally, every three to five days is when you guys wanna be changing this out. Um, Let me see, can I, can I catch myself on here? I can. Um, you wanna be changing it out every three to five days. And then again, if it rains, you wanna change it again the next day and just clean out the feeder in between. I wouldn't just keep refilling it without cleaning the feeder. Again, you can get them really sick and they're very small, delicate creatures. And actually under our bird feeder um, outside, we have a few different plants to attract the birds and same for the hummingbirds. I actually have hibiscus growing right underneath the hummingbird feeder. So if that's ever inside being cleaned or if I'm doing maintenance on it, I do have some blooms open and I'll show you guys in a little bit, just so that you get a little bit of a sense um, of what it's like in my garden right now but they have that as an extra food source when I'm cleaning out their feeder. All right, just so you guys have an accurate idea of what I'm talking about when I say for the hummingbird feeder, I do have the hibiscus, which I have three blooms going on right now, literally right under the feeder. Once the mixture is cooled and I've already cleaned up the feeder, I'm going to hang it back out here. I also have the gladiolus popping up in the background, as well as the daylilies, the hostas that are soon to come, and of course my hydrangeas. So originally these were basically all purple. Um, and since then have turned blue. I apologize for the background noise. <laughs> um, have some geraniums, my fox gloves that are drying out, salvia, and I forget the name of this. I want to say it was Veronica. Um, but got a weed growing in between there. I definitely have a video upcoming of me, you know, doing some garden work, weeding this, adding some dirt to where I need to, because certainly needs to be done. Um, but I didn't get mulch or anything this year either. As you guys can see, there's a lot of sparse areas, but that's okay. So the goal and the plan is to get the fertilizer down for some of these plants, get the good dirt in. I have about six bags left so that I can fill in. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be able to do some deadheading and finish up on this section here. All right, so I just wanted to pop on really quickly and just say a big thank you. Um, I know my last video was my summer morning routine, a little bit different than what I typically do, but I just wanted to 
try and switch it up a little bit. I love my cleaning and organizing, and really that's the point of my channel. It is more so a cleaning motivation channel. However, I wanted to try a few different you know, different routines and things like that. I'm also getting used to my new camera, which I'm filming on right now, which is my Sony uh, ZV-E10. So a lot of, um, a lot of time is going into learning the camera, the features for filming, the lighting. I had to crank out my big light stand that's over here as well, um, versus just typically filming on my phone. Um, so that being said, I just wanted to say thank you. I hope you guys continue to give me a little bit of grace while I learn the curves and stuff like that. But I truly enjoy doing what I'm doing. And also, I'm over 200 subscribers now. OMG, thank you guys so much. Really cool. Um, but just wanted to let you know, for future videos, I'm going to be doing a few different ones. I have a summer evening routine coming your way. I plan to do some things for gardening as well. Um, in addition to maybe like a, a, like a mini haul just for some stuff for fall. Now that's coming up down the line, probably mid-July, because I usually hit Home Goods, I hit Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, and pick up a few fall-centered items, but my goal is never to spend over $100, probably for across the four stores that I go to, because I usually only hit four stores. But if that's something that interests you, that's something I could include as well. But I just want to put myself on there to say thank you, just let you know a little preview of what's coming up. So I hope to see you guys in my next video next week. Bye.